Hey guys, Dirt here with a new action figure to talk about today. This from our friends at Good Leg Toys. This is the Claw Drone from their new War on Prehis series. Let's take a look. Now it does come in a plastic bag with this header card, War on Prehis. You can see the uh, cyborg dinosaur there. If you flip it over to the back, you get a brief history that basically tells you that uh, a world run by dinosaurs... They're now using zombies as their attack drones. Now one thing you can see right off the bat here is that even though it fits that Masters of the Universe vintage style, it is a little bit smaller. So it's not exactly in scale with your classic toys, but it's pretty darn close. So you can see that the basic look of the figure is a blue body with these black accents, and then he's covered in some kind of gray piping and conduit. You can see on his belt that he's got some hand grenades and I guess that's a detonator. We'll take a closer look at some of that stuff here in a minute. First though, let's take a look at the articulation. Now he does have joints here in the shoulders. It's a little tough at first when you get him out of the package, but I found that over time they loosened up a little bit. Never too loose though. The legs, however, don't move and there's no articulation in the waist either. You do have a joint in the head, so you can move the head and the arms. So you do have some posing options. Now at first I was a little upset that the legs didn't move, but then I found that this actually makes him very stable, much easier to display. As we get a little closer here on him, you can see that there's actually a fair amount of detail put into him. There's a lot of bumps and ridges and grooves carved into him, and stuff like his claw has a lot of detail. Now I've enhanced this shot and overexposed it a little bit so that you can see the detail on the claw there. It looks like it's battle-worn. It looks like it's been through hell. And that's actually a nice touch when you can see that there's, you know, a lot of nicks and scratches and grooves and really all it needs is some blood stains to finish it off. When you take a closer look at his skin you can actually see that there are scars, stab wounds, burn marks, and some zombie decay on the skin. So they didn't just send out a regular old flat critter for you to play with, they actually put some time and thought and sculpting into, you know, his shoulder just to make it look that much cooler. One small detail I noticed on the legs is that one foot has a different boot than the other. Maybe it comes from a different zombie body, or maybe they're just having a hard time finding clothes. I don't know, but I thought it was kind of a nice touch, making it stand out just a little bit. Another added bit of character on this guy is on his other leg. You can see it's been split open, and there's muscle and bone underneath. That's something you don't find in your mass market toys out at Toys R Us and Walmart. Now one thing I confirmed with Good Leg Toys is that these are hand painted. And at no point does the paint look sloppy or, you know, dripping or thrown on there. Each piece looks really well done and I'm kind of amazed at how good it is. Now the figure is molded in this translucent blue type plastic. So when you have it on display, it actually looks like it's kind of glowing a little bit. It gives it this weird kind of off-world look to it that is actually really cool. The Claw Drone is available for pre-order right now from Good Leg Toys. You can get an unpainted one for 38 or a fully painted one for 48 and shipping is only 750. As some of these art house figures go, these small run, these handmade figures, that's actually a really good price. And if you can't get one right now for pre-order, regular price is only going to be two bucks more. So this is definitely a toy to look out for and one that you'll want to add to your collection.